Hi everybody, Scott here for Trauma Team Racing and welcome back to another triple screen setup video. This time we're going to be looking at how to set up triple screens in iRacing. We're going to be looking at how to do this with and without NVIDIA Surround to make sure that everybody's included. And we're also going to look at how to measure the monitors and also set up the correct field of view. Now I wanted these to be a one-stop shop, um, so there's going to be some repetition from my previous videos, but if you don't feel you need those sections or you've done them before, please use the chapter markers below to skip ahead to the relevant section that you need. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody that's subscribed so far. Channel's really taking off. Um, if you feel this video is helpful for you, please click that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. So, if you're looking for a video to increase your field of view um, in iRacing with a triple screen setup, you've come to the right place. Sit back, buckle up, class is in session. Now here's a breakdown of the sections contained within this tutorial. Um, I will say again, there is going to be some repetition in comparison to my previous tutorials. So if you don't need the sections on NVIDIA Surround Setup or Field of View Setup, please skip ahead using the relevant chapter markers below. In section one, we're going to look at how to set up NVIDIA Surround. Now I will say iRacing runs very well with and without NVIDIA Surround, so this is purely down to personal preference. In section two, we're going to look at how to set up the correct field of view. Again, if you don't need this, please skip ahead to the next section. In section three, we're going to look at how to measure your monitors. In section four, we'll then get down to the bread and butter and look at how to input all that data we've just obtained into iRacing to get things singing sweetly. We'll do this for people using NVIDIA Surround. And there's an extra step that you'll need to do if you wish to do this without NVIDIA Surround. So, let's go. Setting up NVIDIA Surround. Important to note here is that iRacing runs very well with and without NVIDIA, so using this is really down to personal preference. First you are going to want to go to the Start menu and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Here you are going to want to click on Configure Surround, select Span Displays with Surround, and then hit Configure. This will open the Setup Surround window, and at this point you must note the order of your screens. Here they are displayed in large white numbers, working from left to right they are numbered 2, 3, and 1. Now click Enable Surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point, drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before, 2, 3, and 1. Now click Apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels, and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click Apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the Resolution menu and select Bezel Corrected Resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click Apply again and then Surround with Bezel Corrected Resolution will be enabled. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aim for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9, and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I'll show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable. But you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor, the circle here illustrating my head. My screen size is 32 inches, adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. 
This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. Here the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here this is written in pink. To measure this practically you will need a digital angle measure or in this case a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. Measuring up for eye racing is really easy and requires two further measurements. First, we need to measure the monitor's width. Finally, you want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. How to input the data into eye racing using Nvidia Surround. Firstly, you want to start up the iRacing user interface, go to test drive and start a race going. Once started, you will be presented with this screen. Click on options in the top right and then click on the graphics tab at the bottom of this window. Here we want to focus on the display section at the top. Make sure that the resolution is set to your bezel corrected resolution that we got earlier in Nvidia Surround. I have full screen and border unticked. Now click on the monitor button to open this window. Here, we want to select three flat screens from the Monitor Type drop-down menu. Make sure that Render Scene using three projections is ticked, as well as enable SMP slash MVP if you hover over them, iRacing gives you a description of what they do. Input all the data we calculated before. The monitor width, the bezel width, your viewing distance, the angle between center and side screens, and your desired field of view you chose when doing your field of view calculation. Important to note here is that if you are using curved triples, iRacing gives you the option of putting in your radius of curvature, something which is not offered by many of the sims. Click Compute, and the FOV should come out at the same you got in the FOV calculator from earlier. Click Done, and you are ready to go. Now let's look at how to do the same without Nvidia Surround. First of all, we just need to check a few things in Nvidia Control and Windows Display. In NVIDIA Control, go to the Display tab and then the Setup Multiple Display drop-down and make sure your middle monitor is your primary monitor. Also check this in Windows Display settings which can be accessed by right-clicking on the desktop and making sure your center display is set as your primary display. Now here comes the technical bit. Head to Documents from the Start menu and here this is where your iRacing folder should be located. Head to the file named App which houses the configuration settings. Right-click this and open this with Notepad. Within this file, head down to the heading Graphic DX11, where we are going to change some settings. We are now going to change some parameters. Window Maximize needs to be set to 0. Window Width needs to be your monitor resolution multiplied by 3. So in my case, 2560 times 3 is 7680. For a 1080p monitor, this would be 1920 times 3, which would be 5760. Window height is the vertical resolution of your monitor, so for me, 1440p would be 1440, 1080p would be 1080, etc. Windowed X POS needs to be changed to compensate for the three monitors, so this gets set to negative whatever your horizontal resolution is, in my case, minus 2560. Windowed Y POS stays at zero. Go to File and click Save. Now load up the iRacing UI and start a test drive. From the main menu, head to Options at the top right and then click the Graphic tab at the bottom. Here we want to make sure the resolution is set to the windowed width we set by the vertical height in the configuration file, in my case 7680 by 1440. Again, make sure full screen and border are unticked. Click on the monitor button. Here, make sure that monitor type is set to three flat screens, or curved if that is what you are using. Input your monitor width, bezel width, angle between center and side screen, your viewing distance and your FOV and hit compute. Your FOV should be computed of what you got in the FOV calculator. Click done and you are ready to go. Hit test and start driving. If everything has been done correctly, you should have now gone from this to this. So hopefully that all went to plan and your triple screen setup is singing sweetly and your I rating is getting pumped up driving at MX-5 and Rookies. If you like this content, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you liked it a lot, 
consider hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, thank you for watching. Good night, good evening, good morning. See you in the next one.